The Philippine Air Force is on the verge of a significant technological leap. Lockheed Martin has just unveiled the newest evolution of its world-renowned sniper pod, the Sniper Networked Targeting Pod, or NTP, and this upgrade could drastically enhance the capabilities of the incoming F-A-50 Block 70 Fighting Eagles of the Philippines. From precision strikes, to real-time intelligence, to secure battlefield data sharing, this new targeting system might be a perfect fit for the AFP's push toward modern, network-enabled warfare. Today, we break it all down, what the Sniper NTP is, what it can do, and why it could be a game-changer for the Philippine Air Force. For years, the Sniper Advanced Targeting Pod, or ATP, has been one of the world's leading precision targeting systems. It's used by the US, NATO allies, and multiple air forces around the world. But Lockheed Martin's newest variant, the Sniper NTP, takes the system to a whole new level. Traditionally, targeting pods focus on three things, high-resolution sensors, laser designation for precision-guided weapons, and real-time surveillance and tracking. The Sniper NTP goes beyond all of that. It transforms a fighter jet into a networked intelligence and targeting node, meaning it's no longer just a sensor. It becomes a data-sharing command asset able to send and receive information in real time. The biggest improvement in the Sniper NTP is its integrated secure data link capability. In simple terms, your aircraft can now talk securely with other aircraft, ground forces, command centers, and even ships. And it works both ways. Send data, receive data, update targets, share reconnaissance, coordinate strikes, this aligns perfectly with modern multi-domain warfare, where information is just as important as firepower. Imagine this scenario. A Philippine F-A-50 Block 70 jet detects a suspicious vessel inside the West Philippine Sea. With the Sniper NTP, the pilot can instantly transmit high-res geotagged surveillance data straight to AFP Central Command, the Air Defense Command Center, or even Philippine Navy ships equipped with data links, all in real time. This is exactly the kind of capability the AFP has been aiming for as it strengthens maritime domain awareness and joint command and control. For the Philippine Air Force, this is crucial. It means the Sniper NTP could be installed faster and with fewer compatibility issues, accelerating operational deployment. If the Philippines decides to integrate the Sniper NTP with the upcoming F-A-50 Block 70s, the benefits are huge. Better maritime domain awareness, real-time command and control, networked operations with other AFP platforms, and future-proofing the F-A-50 fleet. In 2024, Malaysia received U.S. approval for the purchase of 10 Sniper ATP units worth USD $80 million or over 4 billion pesos. These pods were originally intended for the Malaysian F-A-18 Hornets, but their incoming F-A-50s will also benefit from the capability. This is a strong indicator that if Malaysia can equip the F-A-50 with sniper pods, the Philippine Air Force can too. And with a more advanced version, the Sniper NTP now entering the market, Manila has the opportunity to leapfrog straight to the latest available technology. In June, the Philippine government allocated PHP 40 billion for 12 F-A-50 Block 70 aircraft. That budget may allow the inclusion of advanced systems like the Sniper NTP, though exact pricing hasn't been made public yet. The Sniper Networked Targeting Pod is not just another upgrade. It represents a shift toward network-enabled warfare, something the AFP has been aiming for as territorial tensions rise in the Indo-Pacific. 
If integrated into the F-A-50 Block 70 Fighting Eagles, the Philippine Air Force would gain a powerful tool for surveillance, targeting, and real-time battlefield coordination, a true force multiplier. What do you think? Should the Philippine Air Force pursue the Sniper NTP for the F-A-50 Block 70 fleet? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more defense and AFP modernization updates. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.